Astronomers working with equipment that costs less than a mid-range laptop have done something extraordinary. Using backyard telescopes, consumer-grade sensors, and imaging techniques refined through years of trial and error, they produced views of the interstellar object 3i Atlas that appear sharper, more structured, and far more detailed than anything released by space agencies operating billion-dollar spacecraft. When these independent images circulated online, the reaction was immediate. Social media feeds filled with comparisons showing Paul Craig's crisp, geometrically defined frames beside NASA's soft, smeared presentation. The contrast was so stark that people began asking how a lone observer could outperform one of the most advanced imaging systems in the solar system. Craig's images carried a level of clarity that caught even seasoned astronomers off guard. In his long exposure frames, the object exhibited an elongated luminous form with a distinct central brightening and symmetrical flares stretching outward. These weren't artifacts or noise. They persisted across multiple nights, through different filters, in varying sky conditions. The structure appeared intentional, or at the very least, highly unusual for an interstellar fragment. Meanwhile, NASA's release, promoted ahead of time as a high-definition view captured by the high-resolution imaging science experiment aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, looked more like a preliminary calibration test than a flagship image of a historic visitor. The public noticed immediately. A camera capable of resolving sand ripples on Mars from orbit somehow delivered a faint washed-out blur when pointed at a bright isolated object in deep space. The timing of NASA's release only added fuel to the growing skepticism. The agency collected the raw data almost a month before showing the image publicly, leaving many to wonder why a single photo required so much delay. Officials pointed to the government shutdown, noting that operations across agencies were paused. But that explanation felt insufficient to observers. Releasing a still frame, especially one with limited detail, is not a task that demands thousands of personnel or full departmental activity. A small team operating during reduced hours could have easily shared it. Instead, weeks passed, and by the time the image finally appeared, amateur astronomers had already been circulating clearer, more informative views of the object. The discrepancy between the two sources, one with vast institutional resources, the other with homemade setups, was impossible to ignore. Paul Craig's rise in this moment wasn't accidental, nor was it the product of luck or a single fortunate night under clear skies. His reputation within astronomy communities was built slowly through years of painstaking refinement of his craft. Among observers, he was known for a meticulous, almost forensic approach to imaging. Every frame he produced carried the signature of someone who treated astrophotography less like a pastime and more like a technical discipline. He planned each session with the caution of a field technician preparing delicate equipment in harsh conditions, checking and rechecking every cable, sensor temperature, and mount alignment. His workflow resembled that of a data analyst more than a hobbyist astronomer. Logs were kept, variables tracked, calibration frames archived, environmental fluctuations noted and compensated for. When 3i Atlas appeared, Craig's did not simply point his telescope and hope for a clean shot. He built an entire imaging strategy around the object. He employed extended exposure cycles designed to maximize signal collection without introducing bloom or distortion, pushing his equipment to the edge of its capability while maintaining control over noise and drift. His calibration sequences were custom-tailored, involving dark frames, flat fields, and biased data captured under tightly controlled conditions. The stacking method he used, something he had engineered and iterated on over years, was designed not just to enhance clarity, but to eliminate artifacts, ensuring that any structure visible in the final image originated from the object, not from the equipment. Most importantly, Craig's process prioritized repeatability above all else. Each night's data wasn't merely added to the previous set. It had to align with it, confirm it, reinforce it. A feature visible on Tuesday had to appear in the Thursday frames too, ideally in slightly different conditions, under a different angle or through a different filter. If it didn't repeat, he discarded it. If it varied, he recalibrated. If it persisted, only then did he consider it real.
Filter sets were rotated, swapped, and compared, each one required to produce consistent illumination patterns before it was accepted into the final composite. From the very beginning, Craig's approach 3i Atlas not as an intriguing visitor passing through the solar system, but as a structured target that demanded rigorous documentation. He treated it with the seriousness of a field researcher studying a newly discovered species, cataloging its features with precision, and resisting the temptation to jump to conclusions. This disciplined approach is what ultimately allowed him to capture details that others missed, and what earned his images the credibility that continues to shape the global conversation around the object. The payoff was immense. His images displayed characteristics that diverged sharply from conventional cometary behavior. Rather than a diffuse coma and chaotic tail, 3 Eye Atlas appeared to possess a clear axial body, a luminous core region, and symmetrical outflows or reflections extending from both sides. These features held steady across different observation windows. For many who examined the data, the consistency mattered more than the unusual shape. In science, repeated structure is hard to dismiss. If Craig's had released his images anonymously under the name of a major observatory, they would almost certainly have been heralded as groundbreaking. NASA's contrasting image raised questions not only about quality but also about intent. Some viewers recalled previous instances where unusual space phenomena coincided with abrupt live stream cuts or incomplete data releases. The discussion brought back memories of Oumuamua, the first confirmed interstellar object to pass through the solar system. In that case, too, many felt the official imagery lacked the clarity one would expect given the equipment involved. The parallel was difficult to ignore. When amateurs show sharp, structured frames of 3i Atlas, while NASA releases a blurred outline, comparisons become inevitable. Still, Craig's himself has remained measured throughout the discussion. He refuses to speculate about the object's nature, reiterating that his job is to observe, not interpret. He shares raw frames, processing steps, and equipment notes openly, allowing others to check his work. In doing so, he has earned the trust of both amateur and professional astronomers. His transparency stands in stark contrast to the slower, more guarded release practices of major agencies, and many believe this is why his work has resonated so widely. At a time when public expectations for clarity and immediacy are higher than ever, Craig's provides an example of what informed, independent observation can achieve. The wider implications extend far beyond this single interstellar visitor. As equipment becomes more affordable and imaging software more capable, the gap between professional and amateur astronomy has narrowed dramatically. A generation ago, capturing high-quality astrophotography required institutional-grade tools. Today, individuals with determination and relatively modest budgets can record details once measurable only from observatories. Social platforms amplify this shift even further. Data that once circulated only within academic circles now spreads globally in minutes, allowing the public to compare independent findings with official releases instantaneously. This democratization of observation is reshaping trust itself. For decades, agencies like NASA were viewed as the primary source of space imagery and analysis. Their statements carried authority by default, and their images were seen as the definitive record. Now, with people able to cross-reference amateur data in real time, that authority is shared. When NASA presents a blurred frame, but independent observers present structured clarity, the public is inclined to ask questions that might not have been raised in earlier decades. The shift isn't inherently adversarial. It simply reflects a world where information flows freely and verification is accessible to anyone. The debate around 3i Atlas underscores the value of transparency. While NASA maintains that the limitations of distance, angle, and observation conditions affected their image, 
Critics argued that the capabilities of the high-resolution imaging science experiment should have overcome such constraints, especially given the instrument's documented performance. Others point out that releasing a low-quality image without additional context or accompanying data only invites speculation. Even for those who trust NASA's intentions, the disparity between official and amateur images remains a puzzle that deserves explanation. At the same time, Craig's has shown what a single motivated observer can accomplish. Night after night, he tracked the object, adjusting his exposures, refining his processing, making sure each detail could be reproduced. His dedication created an archive of frames that revealed the object's structure more clearly than any official source to date. These images have sparked global conversation, not because they defy physics, but because they demonstrate the power of independent investigation. They remind us that curiosity, patience, and skill can reveal truths even massive institutions overlook or choose not to highlight. As more people around the world gain access to advanced imaging tools, this trend will only strengthen. Independent astronomers are no longer quiet hobbyists working in isolation. They are contributors to global scientific dialogue, capable of challenging assumptions, verifying claims, and expanding public understanding. 3i Atlas has become more than an astronomical event. It is a case study in how information is shared, how trust is earned, and how scientific inquiry is evolving in the 21st century. In the end, the controversy surrounding Craig's photographs and NASA's official release reflects a broader shift in public expectations. People want clarity. They want completeness. They want to see what is actually out there, not a softened approximation filtered through layers of bureaucracy. The rise of independent observers ensures that high-resolution, unfiltered data will continue to reach the public, whether agencies release it or not. 3i Atlas may still hold many mysteries, but its appearance has already revealed one unmistakable truth. In an era where a backyard astronomer can capture details that spark international debate, the boundaries of who gets to document the universe are wider than ever. If the clearer images are coming from the ground while the blurrier ones come from space, the question that lingers is less about equipment and more about access. What are we seeing? What are we not seeing? And who decides the difference?